Hello, folks. It's an unprofessional Friday of sorts. We're going to start first here in the wonderful world of Disneyland magic. Uh, okay, so it took, I think I got to the, the D, uh, the D syllable before Dan Reichert made a face. What, what's your big deal? What's your problem, Dan Reichert? I don't want to be such a dick. A I don't want to, hey, if you guys like Disney, I'm not going to, if I see something I have a say comment it, on, Dan, I will you say You said it, way worse on. shit on the internet than Disney sucks. <laughs> Just saying. No, that's not true. Uh, Disney does suck. They've always sucked. Even as a child, they were not great. Uh, as I cannot adult, believe Dan Reichert would say that on the internet. They that's are disgusting. lame as fuck. Disney World sucks disney world sucked as a kid marvel also sucks star wars is pretty good um mar but yes uh, what? marvel marvel <laughs> and disney both suck ass so now yes. okay so this is not going to be the tenor of the entire thing dan has no, i need to get that out now get it out now i'm not going to shit now. on everything here right i mean he's allowed to not like things everybody if he doesn't mm -hmm. if you see something that looks bad he's allowed to say it but this is not going to be a constant barrage of dan just no. going off on it that said no. I was watching a little bit of this uh, thing that we're looking at right now, which is apparently the D23 Expo where they announced a bunch of Disney stuff. I was getting pretty bad vibes with the actors playing the cartoon characters sitting there and having the, the really giant fake smile while the uh, executive came out to speak or whatever. I'm like, oh, man, this corporations make me feel bad. So that's what we're dealing with. I, I think like we? Disney, this, the content is like I, I am a noted Marvel fan and I won't. Same. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to say this is going to sound like a dickhead, but like. I was a fan before the MCU. Let's just say mm -hmm. that. So I've been reading Marvel comics since I was a kid. I've been watching Marvel cartoons since I was a kid. So I I am one of those people. I I am also, uh, you know, I like the movies a lot, but I'm also willing to criticize when they're not great. Um, and I have done that many times before. Right now, Marvel not really hitting for me. Um, I like uh, Miss Marvel quite a bit. Um, I, I'm always down to see what they got when it comes to video games, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what we're Video doing games here. Are good. With so we we have myself, Jeff Grubb, we got Dan Riker, Tamar Sane, and we got Mike Minotti helping us. Uh Mike is our resident Disney adult. So I got him out of his cage and I put him in here and I sat him down and I said, Mike, tell us what's going on with Disney. Which I guess, Mike, what is going on with Disney? Uh, here's the, one second before we move on. No, please. Uh I think the best thing that Disneyland has is Dole Whip. Oh, Dole yeah. Whip is fantastic. As I, I go to I, I go to time. Disneyland. What is it? Specifically for Dole Whip. It's pineapple sorbet. Okay. What's a sorbet? A sorbet. It's a you know like ice cream that's more like like fruity and sweet. A sherbet. 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 I guess yeah. I said it weird. Is it's not pronounced sorbet? Well, sorbet. It's, 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 but sherbet is a completely different thing. Yeah, sherbet is different. Hey, sherbet. Yeah. Hey, hey, spell sherbet. Isn't it just like how it's, it sounds? No, S -H -E -R -B -E -R -T. it's H E R B E R T. It's B E T. Man. There's no R? Uh, no, it's, people say Sherbert. You I can say Sherbert or Sherbert. But okay. it's, it might be able to be spelled both ways, but Sherbet, I see more common. I believe you. When it comes to spelling, yeah, I, trust, I, mean, I trust Dan. In, yes. in, 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 in the UK, Sherbet is a like a powder that you use to like uh, make drinks with. So you like get a, a Sherbet. It's kind of like a dilutable powder. So like um, you get like strawberry sherbet. It's like a powder. You put it in a glass and then put like water in and it becomes strawberry drink. Oh, it's like Nesquik. Um, Kind of, yeah, like a fruity Nesquik. Okay. Isn't it's, short... like, it's, it's, yeah, it's basically the powder inside pixie sticks. Isn't yeah. Shortbert just what uh, Ernie says when he's agreeing with his roommate? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Ah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Look at him yeah. smugly sipping. Yeah. His very <laughs> this is what I, I was oh, waiting for a bit. I was like, I'm not listening to Tim. As soon as he's done talking, though, I'm going to throw that jab out there. Before we get going, I'm going to give everyone in the chat a, a warning. I am currently doing both of my jobs at the same time. So we'll me see too. how this goes. So is Mike. Yeah, me, me and Mike are doing two jobs. Website they work for. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just here watching off. Disney. So if, yeah, if at exactly. any point, like someone asks me a question, I don't respond. I'm going to need everyone in the chat to just spam the word Tam. So then I'll <laughs> see it in the corner of my eye and I'll be like, oh, they, they asked me something. Let's test these audio levels. So this is Disney games is what they're going to show here. Disney and Marvel games showcase. And it's just one what? panel at their big D23. Yeah. It's like the E3 for just Disney and run by Disney. What is their big stuff in games? I know they had a Guardians of the Galaxy game, right? Spider-Man? Right. Well, they, they, anything that's Marvel oh, that's or Star Wars. Right. Now, they say Marvel and Disney. They they didn't throw Star Wars in there. I am not expecting, like, to see Jedi Survivor or anything like that. Hey, but, are you know, getting a... that echo right now, real quick? No, right? No, I don't have an no. echo. Okay, great. Cool, cool. 
Sorry, keep going, Mike. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Tam and Jeff talked about it on Game S Mornings. We're, we we could be seeing that Skydance uh, game, you know, Amy Henning Studio, which sounds like it's going to be based on that Flag of Our Father storyline with Captain America and Black yeah. Panther in World War II. There's some other things like we know about, like um, the Hearthstone, like former lead Ben Ben Brode's been working on uh, his like Marvel card game, Marvel Snap, and it's been in beta, so there could be. Stuff I think. There. I think they're going to announce a Tron game. D don't tempt me with a good time, Tam. That's Tron I like Disney? my Tron. Or is that Marvel? No, that's That's, that's just Disney. Disney. Disney proper, baby. Was it always, or did they buy Tron? Always Disney. No, that one was homegrown. They didn't have to buy that one. Wow. That was them. Okay. But, and then there's like, you know, they have that newer Disney game I where like, this it's is like... It's starting, by the way. Just let you guys know. Yeah. Oh, oh that's right. Uh, Monkey Island's them. Mm. There'll, there'll be like a trailer for that. They'll talk about that new Dreamlight Valley that just came out. Yes, yeah, so like there's wearing Midnight the Wind Waker shirt again. So I know this guy. Really exciting. <laughs> All right, chat. Let me know how the the audio juice is doing. More juice coming up. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch the twenty. We're gonna touch minus twenty here. I think that's about as high as I'm willing to go, though. It's got the juice. That Spider-Man was in the Superman and Batman world. You see that? Okay, just no. shut up. Oh. No, you did not think that. I, I thought they were all in the same, not Metro City. What the fuck is the... Metropolis? The, 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 Gotham? I thought the Metropolis and Gotham and Spider-Man. Spider-Man is Man. very famously a, like, New York superhero, which is why, like, the Twin Towers right. were in Spider-Man 2 and stuff like that. Yeah. The Twin is Towers are not in Metropolis. Uh, They're in the Marvel our, universe? They were in our world. No, Marvel oh. is just all real cities. It doesn't have yeah. made-up ones gotcha. like DC does. Okay, got it. Oh, this looks like a Tron game. Yeah, I think you're right, and it's Bith Mike Bithel's making it. Oh, I imagine if it was out today, that would be sick. This that is one million cool. percent Tron, huh? Yes, it is. Tron yes. Identity. Should I see Tron? Did you, okay, so is it good? It's 80, so you would like it. Yo, what's blessing. Up? Tron yeah, identity. blessing toasting. What a way to start oh, wow. the show. I know this guy. Welcome to the All right, first let me know if you guys Disney want uh, uh, show captions. I'm your chat. host, Blessing Adioye Jr., and today I'll be your NPC guide as you quest through game announcements from Disney. Pixar, That's just a logo. Marvel, we're not getting more on that. Lucasfilm I don't think we're getting more. Century. Now, if you want to keep up to date with Bithel Games, this, the new Tron is like the probably Tron worth universe, just like oh. watching while while imebibing. Yeah. Sure Do you have to see the socials. first one to understand it? Fact, you probably, but you can probably just read a Wikipedia, but it's directed by the same guy that did Top Gun Maverick. The first Tron is like also good. Right the first Tron, is, you, you can enjoy the first Tron. Dila Lot, they're the ones that did uh, Battle Toads. Huh? Is this, is this a game we know about? It uh, says Disney Illusion Island. Mickey, okay, Minnie. thank you. Donald's oh man, they're doing the new, the new release. New, oh, oh new, this is fantastic. Yeah. Wait, what is this? Monoth. Disney Illusion Island, I yeah, just told like, you. Yeah, but like, Tell how does it play? Like an Illusion I Island. I don't know. What oh, it looks like Red Man Origins. Yeah, and they're using the, the new. Uh, okay, listen. Some of the best stuff Disney's ever done is the new Mickey Mouse shorts. Yes, those are on very Disney good. Plus. I guess they're on the Disney Channel, but they are so good. And they're so funny. They are like Ren and Stimpy light. It's like Diet Ren and Stimpy. It's so good. This does look just like Rain Man. Don't you worry, Taco. Yep. We'll do it. Hang on. The books are gone. Yeah, permanent side. We, we're, it is what it is. Okay. We're not going to switch it now. Dan, you're right. Yeah, I got questions, but I don't want to ruin. Okay, ask your. You get one question per. Yeah. Who? Yes. Focus. Who follows Mickey Mouse that wasn't born in like the 1920s? Awesome. Oh, everyone. It's, it's everyone follows Mickey Mouse. You know, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Is so you and Ben Hansen are the two people I've ever heard of that care about Mickey Mouse that's not 85 idea. years old. This was such the a most terrible popular idea. fictional the character, character of all time. The most famous fictional, so fictional I character of all time. I didn't think about it. I think I think Superman might have him beat now. Art Simpson. That's what I think Superman is like nowadays. No. 
include Blade, <gasps> Magic, Ghost uh. Rider, Nico Minoru, and more. Do hey, kids know it's Midnight Suns? Mother of Demons. Do kids, Plus, do kids like Mickey Mouse? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Dan, they really? put, they what is he in there? Is he in the show? He's on the Disney Channel. He's on the Disney Channel, and he shows up between other shows all the time. And those, like I just saying, those shorts are incredible. They are so good. Do you? Grub, do you think your kids like Mickey Mouse or Mario more? They like Mario more, but they do like Mickey Mouse a lot. You're, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Mario's still champ. And you're Listen, right. everyone. Everyone needs to be quiet. Blade is on the screen. Show oh, some yeah, respect. Sorry. Oh, God, you're right. <laughs> the real queen. The true queen. They need, they need to give me some specific blade content that's what i need so you're gonna say like a specific example of what the game is like but oh, yeah, yeah that's true. do you think if you polled every child in the world more would recognize mickey mouse or sonic the hedgehog mickey mouse one million percent mickey, really mickey mouse yes. one trillion percent have you been to a target have you not seen not how much mickey mouse really. stuff there is no i don't leave the house <laughs> I'm not as confident as them, but I'm also very stupid, so I don't know. It's coming out in this year. 1,000%. There's also eggs in Mickey Mouse. Well, like Sonic is like all that. You can ruin Mickey Mouse for me, that's fine. But that's not all. Right now, we have a sneak peek of the intro for the set of new prequel shorts that gives a never-before-seen preview of the heroes that you'll be playing as. That release date is new. Yeah, get to work, Mike. God damn. I'm already writing about Tron while I'm just tr reeling from what Dan has been saying about <laughs> Mickey Mouse. I don't think kids know who Mickey Mouse is. Yeah, Dan, you please, if you believe me about anything, kids <laughs> know who Mickey Mouse is. They probably see this. This looks, awesome. this looks like the animated, animated series style stuff. Yeah, this looks oh, great. Oh, it's Blade. Make the game look like this instead. <laughs> right? I hope this is the soundtrack, though. This I'm going to pull Twitter about the Sonic and Mickey Mouse. Though. Yeah, do it. Do it. Yeah, do, do it. The big, one for, the big for me is that Sonic is on a lot of bootleg like gear all around the world, I yeah. feel like. I mean, listen, Sonic is very popular. I just don't know. I don't know as much. I, I guess. It, it, Jeff, it upsets me that you are on the fence about it, to be I'm on honest. The fence. Yes. It, it, it's not something I to believe, be on the fence I about. I think you're probably right. I just yes. like don't want to dismiss my gut here. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be dope. Be oh, sure man, to follow like Marvel excited. Games and the Midnight yeah. Sun social channels for more information. And now, here's some exciting news about a Marvel game you can play today. Is this gonna be, oh, Strike Force, okay. For these showcases, it's like, it, it, it's probably hard to like keep a, uh, an even tone of like, this is a game that is going to come out and it's going to be real big, or this is a game that it's been out for a couple weeks and it's getting more content, and it's like, uh, okay, when it's like something like Strike Force, right. I'm like, that's been out, hasn't it? Or Red Hawk in Marvel's Yike Force. <laughs> my tweet is up, my poll. All right. I'll update you on the steps. Thank, thank you, we appreciate that. Yes. How did you, how'd you phrase it? Told every child in the world would more of them recognize Mickey Mouse or Sonic the Hedgehog. I know you came <laughs> okay. here for the trailers okay. and DLC announcements and big reveals, and not me. I think the cool answer to that question probably is for, next too. firmly Mickey so Mouse. So let's get to it. Oh, to put Mario on that pole, you look like someone who's ready to join me on a wild ride to the multiverse. Is this Listen, Snap? You have plans right this now? is Snap. We'll cancel them. It's Aquafina is voicing Snap. this. Trailer. Yes, it is. That is Aquafina. You can access it from anywhere. Your Who house, is that? Your workplace, she is the um the dragon honest, from Raya the and the Last right? Dragon. Oh. She's a rapper, actress. Yeah. Jeff put in a way that I would know what he's talking I, about. Yep. Thank I you. I, like as soon as I realized, I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. Because in Shang Chi. Yep. Here's the twist. She got in trouble for These doing a uh, black scent. Like the entire canon of Marvel characters kind of superpower. So, Mike, you played a lot of Hearthstone. This is from the guy that did that. Uh, are you excited right. about like Snap? It's, I, I'm excited to try it. I played so much Hearthstone that it, it's like, not only was I ready for a break from Hearthstone by the time it was all done, I was like, man, can I really get into a digital card game like this again? Uh, 
maybe. There's some interesting stuff there to talk mechanically so with the like they're, they're really trying to make this words, fast paced. That like, right. uh, that's like part toast. of the snap in the name, like it's snappy. Uh, so don't wait oh, I'm shit. interested to try it. It looks, snap. it looks cool. It's time to make like, it looks they're like making a Smurfs game? On October 18th. They're making a Smurfs game? Yeah. Coming up yeah, next. All right, here that. we go, everybody. Don't forget to set a reminder to download Marvel Snap. Is Disney on the Smurfs now? I don't know. Did they, who owned the Smurfs Making a realistic before? Smurfs game. Holy shit. Marvel reveals later in oh the my showcase. God. A realistic first, Smurfs game, what does that mean? Year, gamers are getting dropped into the middle of a Xenoblade well, outbreak a cool thing. in the tactical squad-based <laughs> action of Aliens Dark Descent. In this look at gameplay, pick your squad of Marines on missions as you infiltrate Wait, who and investigate owns the Xenomorph outbreak. Fox, Fox did, which Disney tactics, bought. Assemble your colonial Jesus. Marines and yep. take on the Xenomorph hordes in Aliens Dark they Descent. They do do that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And PC. But first, let's talk about Avatar and revisit What Pandora. could a realistic Smurf game possible? Oh. Frontiers of Pandora, you'll be immersed okay. in the beauty <laughs> and danger of the There he is, everybody. Moon, Thank you, Tam. Thank you very much. Okay, you got me. Oh, nice. You're yeah. funny. You got jokes. Yeah. I'm excited. I, can, I, I couldn't care less about this game. I'm excited about the next movie, actually. And that pole of yours ain't going so well for you. Well, mm. Now from Pandora to uh, yeah, start yelling uh, on Twitter away. about it. That'll be good. Star Wars yeah. That'll convince everybody. Destroyed sales records like Rebels I taking out Death Stars. Probably no better than Twitter. If you haven't picked it up yet, <laughs> all the Death Stars 2, here's another reason to jump into the Skywalker <laughs> Incredible. Story. New characters including Cassian Andor. It's not a scientific poll. Yeah, that's Rex, classic. That's and more yeah, are coming to Lego Star Wars that. The Skywalker Saga soon. Take on even more Stormtroopers, lead a lightsaber, or the Force, Part of your way through the galaxy and get ready to explore. What's this about Lego Star Wars 2? Is this DLC or are they just. It, it, yeah, it must be, yeah. The Galactic Edition comes this out. Game this game always looks fun. I'm like, ah. 13 character packs, including six all new ones. It was fun for the couple characters. hours I played on the Steam Deck. Now, for those who don't know, didn't it sell a bunch? Games a ton. ton. It sells a ton. Yes, every month. Wow. Today, the voice like really, of the only like if Elden Ring Dominic hadn't come Armado, out, we'd be talking about how this game is like a world destroying. Monkey Allen, Dominic Armado, the voice actor. Oh, he's a good guy. He recorded a birthday message for my younger brother when I was like. 12 and we were hanging out in IRC, the IRC channel. I IRC, remember that old chat thing or whatever yeah. it was? Yes. Uh, that was after Curse of Monkey Island came out. So this is like 97, 98. Good guy. I want to be a pirate. Is not Double Fine? Through the years, no, it's a Ron Gilbert's uh, studio. Wouldn't it be awesome? You know what I, I'd really love? Oh, 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 did you ever play the Genesis Gargoyles game? It's very okay. Very okay? I think it's, uh, they should me remake that. Yeah. I'd be into that. I would love that. Put that out again. That, this stream would be very uh, uh, would be a success if it came out, so we're making more Gargoyles. Yeah, I think so. I, you know, I bet it's coming. Like, Disney Plus of all the, I mean, they brought back Chip and Dale. They they brought back DuckTales before. They, they uh, Gargoyles is gonna happen at some point. That's gonna get a reboot. You want to do it while you could still bring in a lot of those same like Star Trek Next Generation actors and stuff. So do it now. By picking up Return to Monkey Island. Lucasfilm Games isn't the only team bringing the nostalgia Airbag back says today. remake Goof Troop for SNES. I keep telling years, Jeff that's a game we have to find yeah, together. Classes, we'll, like we'll Aladdin, yeah. We're going to do the, the co-op in that. And the Lion King. And now they're teaming up with Empty Clip to bring back another classic. There you go. Gargoyles Remastered. Whoa. Oh, I shit. I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. I see what's, I see what's happening here. I hate this. I hate this. I keep falling for it because I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Oh, my God. I was oh, seeing so much now. further ahead. Is that a shoot or was he? Oh, no, no, oh, no. So we're I see what he's doing. doing. We got worked into a shoot. Okay. Brother. Oh, my God. I totally, I felt for it. I felt for it. Motherfucker. <laughs> Look at that shit eating grin. Yeah, he's so proud of himself. <laughs> if it works again, I might have to quit the site, everybody. If it worked three times. How did he do that? He's just ahead on his stream. What's he watching? Is he on a different YouTube channel? I don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's, he's the psychic. He's blessing I texting about, you. I know I feel about combat uh, oogie boogie. <laughs> yeah. This is that mobile game that's been out for a bit. I see action figures of it at GameStop and they kind of look cool. Is this out already? Yeah, this is out, I oh, think. Man. Oh what no, it's it? James Woods. He's gonna tweet at them. <laughs> <laughs> numbers, especially when that number is 
So what does it play like? I don't know. I always just assume it's another one of those like turn-based RPG gotcha things, but I don't know. Okay. Because they only ever show videos I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Universe okay. And leveling up your teams, like now, if you're hoping to take on Hades and the other villains dropping this October. Hey, I have a correction, right, by the way, from Game Mess Mornings. Reveal. Big correction. Oh. All right. I am, I am 35, not 36. Oh, you're 30. Okay. All right. My bad. Wow. Same big, age. Same big age. Apology. Dude. Okay. It's uh, not a coincidence that I think you both are getting into your midlife crisis right, right. now. You know what would be cool if they announced? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, cool? no, no. Like a, a, a Smash Brothers clone that only had Disney characters in it. That would be pretty sick, right? Is that what, is that oh what's about to happen? God. Well, this is the very sick game right now. At the end, so at the end of the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie, the new one, they had like a fake poster for a Disney Afternoon Smash Brothers game. And everybody was like, oh, I wish that was real. Disney Afternoon Smash Brothers is a good idea. Right. Yeah, but I don't know. Would... I think that would be cool if it happened. Oh my God. <laughs> don't even. Don't even. I endorse this, Tan. <laughs> Do you believe they put Mickey in this? He's just such a deep cut. Yeah, right? Never, no one knows There's about no it. Mickey movies from the last 50 years. They the never made Fantasia. Mickey movies. He's in shorts. In, like, cartoons and a million merchandise things. He's an institution. <laughs> yeah, a lot of old things are institutions. That doesn't mean kids know what they are now. To be, it, to be clear, Mickey Mouse is not on the same level as, like, the Three Stooges. It's more like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> My kids definitely 100% know who Mickey Mouse is. They, they know Donald. Uh, they, they, yeah, they know. Um, but uh, prefer Mario. Yes, yeah, they prefer I can't Mario. They're yes. super gamer dad that they know a lot <laughs> yeah. about Mario. Right. They're uh, a Disney Mario. dork too, so it's even. <laughs> I, they do. They know Mike. They call him Uncle Mikey, but. Uh, they do. Yeah, they, uh, he doesn't bring that into my I home. Did, I, I did bring them uh, Stitch dolls when, yes. I, when I met them recently. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch, yes. Oh, Lilo and Stitch is good. Oh my god, this. <laughs> damn it, damn. <laughs> I, uh, Dread Pan, I'm more like a Disney father. Oh, my kids yeah, watch I, was saying, stuff. I would love to see a normal, like, idyllic Disney world suddenly become a Smash Brothers world. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my <laughs> God. You, it sounds like I'm very excited uh, now, sounds, by the way. Sounds crazy. I wonder how many miles per screen Mike was out. Take a normal, moment. like, I guess we'll average, fun-looking Disney console. universe, and, and suddenly now, everyone's punching each idyllic. other. Disney neighborhood. Wouldn't that be wild, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is an oh, idea like Disney World. This? this is beautiful. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I want
I remember it standing out back then when the, when so Disney's Genesis games and Super Nintendo games, games were like popping off. Of that one was one of the ones where I was like, eh, you can skip this one if you want. Um, uh, so, yeah. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's fine. I, uh, uh, I'm glad they kept it short. Yes, they kept it short and punchy. And it, like, even when I wasn't interested in the game, it didn't matter because we were moving on so fast. Uh, Illusion Valley, right? That's what it's called. Uh, that looks really, really like my jam. A four player sort of rayman like game with that style mickey mouse characters yeah that seems like it could be a really good time so i uh, uh yeah uh, that captain america and, and black panther game um, i hope it's gonna be good it seems like they're like you know treating it like oh that's one of our next big games um i have no idea when to expect can it you, we haven't can seen you turn the, the volume down on the disney thing i did I, yeah i muted okay, it cool. yeah i got it um but it's amy hennig so i i expect that when we see it next time it'll be gameplay and it's gonna hopefully it just looks a lot like uncharted with captain america and black panther but it's four Four, four characters i wonder if that's like swapping in or is it going to be like a four-player cooperative game i i don't know it's hard to say oh my god it'd be hilarious if it was like the avengers game somehow yeah. again but uh, <laughs> oh god no i mean i guess it would, maybe it's going to be like gotham knights whatever mm. that is Nope. all right i liked it i had fun i mean it was yeah, you know obviously i i know i'm most predisposed to like it but it was punchy it was fast paced there was you know Stuff without details, but it's cool to know we're going to get a new Tron game. Uh, like like Jeff said, that Mickey sort of um, Rayman legend style thing looks nice. Uh, yeah, you know, good pacing and pacing is a big part of what can make these things good. We didn't have to have like developers come out on stage and, and talk in front of a camera or talk to Jeff for five minutes. So I enjoyed it. All right. Well, uh, um, that, before, oh, before yeah, we no, wrap up, yeah, uh, uh, I would just like to um, check in on the poll please oh good point thank you yeah <laughs> i mean look it's not, nothing you can My it because he's, he's been around bush okay on this uh, poll in which dan reich has said if you poll every child in the world would more of them recognize mickey mouse or sonic the hedgehog there were a total of 1951 votes which is a pretty good sample size mm -hmm. and um of those 28.3 percent wow. said sonic while 71.7 said mickey uh, are Nick there any, are there any choice replies like are there any like really choice like just people uh, really going at dan i, I always enjoy that let's have a look um no people are just being normal in here <laughs> uh one person said dan it makes me mad how much you won't believe how beloved mickey mouse is that comes from <laughs> dr ryan because uh, there's no way thinks anyone thinks yeah. that anyone under the age of like 60 has very strong feelings about Mickey there's, Mouse. It's, Dan, there's just, been a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff since then. Yeah. There's, you know, I, there's like, Fantasia was like his last movie, wasn't it? And I was a kid <laughs> yeah. when that came out. Yeah, outside of movies. Dude, he's, he's on he cartoon shows and kid shows. In, what cartoon a, shows? Mickey and the Roadster Racers, Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse. Yeah, like, like, stuff up. You're my making kids stuff watch up. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse all the time, actually, for he real. He is the protagonist the of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Yes, he's okay. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Uh, there is someone who... about Mickey or Mario. That one is uh, right that's life. still going to be Mickey, to be clear. Like, there's someone is. who replied with uh, an image I don't, of uh, I don't know. Mickey Mouse as Sonic. Yes, which that's is good. I highly that. alarming to me. I want that shirt. Um, that's pretty cool. And then someone else replied, Tyler replied, Dan, no one cares about Sonic. Which is just a, a harsh truth. I don't give a shit about Sonic. I don't care about <laughs> Sonic. I'm just saying he's more relevant in 2022 than he's, fucking Mickey Mouse. He's not. Well, here's one from Fred Burrows, which is a good way to kind of end this. Does Sonic have multiple theme parks around the world with his face plastered on them? Mickey Mouse That's doesn't good... own the theme park. His well, no, face he's a is literally character, everywhere. You're right. He doesn't have the D to Walt Disney World. But he's <laughs> <really> <laughs> that doesn't guy. even count. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the idea of Mickey Mouse opening the parks every morning. Like, oh. uh huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta unlock the doors. All right. <sighs> so someone left a poopy in the bathroom. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. I'm yeah, pretty sure. I'm sure you are. Sure. Of at least this, that I could not convince you that you're wrong. So I guess <laughs> you we'll are correct about that. If there's something you're right about, it's that. <laughs> I, I will support Dan in this endeavor. Uh, Thank you, Mickey Dan. Mouse. Thank it's him. not about yes. it's not about if we like Mickey Mouse or not. It's just about popularity. Are you saying Mickey is better than Mario? No, that's not what I'm saying. I personally like Mario more than Mickey, but he's Ooh, not more okay. famous than Mickey. If it was like a money thing, like who wants to buy the rights to Mickey Mouse and Mario, Mickey Mouse is going to be worth more billions of dollars Everyone knows than Mario. Right no. now. In this day and age, the most popular character, the most recognizable character is Goku. 
Yeah, okay. sure. that, that, Goku's no cooler than Mickey Mouse that. for sure. 100%. No one's it's ever going to convince sure. me that. Listen, Mitch, you're saying that Mickey is going to be worth billions. Mickey is just a, a fucking logo. He's not like, he is not Disney. He's just a fucking he's, mouse that Disney he's, made. He's more Disney than any other character that they own. I Disney's think, a lot I think of at characters. Darth point, Vader is a Disney. Yeah, yes, at this Mickey point, Mouse is Iron more Man famous is, than Darth Vader. At this point, Iron Man is more Disney than Mickey Mouse. No. Yeah, so then you can't say Mickey is worth billions. The Walt yes. Disney Corporation is very valuable. Yes, they are. It's about the IP. Yeah. But like, I, I think you can. Like, if you if you like went to embrace a group and was like, we would like to sell you. Disney went to embrace a group and went, we would like to sell you Mickey Mouse for one yes. billion. Just mm -hmm. Mickey. They we would keep buy Donald it. and Goofy and all that. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, the embrace a group would buy <laughs> Mickey for a billion, probably more. How probably. much for Mario? How much would an embracer pay for Mario? I think Mario would probably get like maybe ten dollars less, and that's it. I think I think Mario would come close, but I think Mickey would have more. Embracer would pay more for just Mickey. Yes, mm -hmm. I think so. And the Let's only reason the I say that Embracer. Let's call him up. Uh, uh, is, who does, I don't know anything about Embracer. His name is Lars Wing of Fours, and he doesn't return my emails anymore. I mean, don't, uh, don't they? Is it? Aren't there people who do this? Like one US? of the most recognizable characters in the world, or something? Like that's that's a study people do. All right. Yeah. Uh, um, let's, okay. Let's Twenty-seven most famous uh, cartoon characters are your. Okay. What are, what, okay. Of course. Here's some ads. Um, number one is Mickey Mouse. Number two is Bugs Bunny. Number these are cartoon when was characters. This poll from? Oh, that's the Almanac, nineteen forty-two. Okay. So again, like, no, nineteen forty-three. Dan, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. I am like pretty sure that like there was a study a while back, yeah. and number one was Superman, not anyone else. And I so thought Mario was more popular than Mickey. Not relevant now either. One, one time he Dude, became more well known. There is no way right. you're gonna convince anyone that Superman is. What was the last like, Superman you know, thing that came out? It does not matter. It does not it's matter. Superman. Like, the Superman. The logo, logo. but like superman's it, not popular now, super, you it? could never release a single superman thing ever again and superman will somehow still be the most recognizable character in the all world all right i found it the buzzfeed article okay That's, now so we we're talking this, this, journalism this, yes okay. exactly canonical uh yes. number one is tommy pickles there he's fucking go. Tommy pickles. <laughs> cooler than superman or mickey mouse <laughs> Come on, says Tommy Pickles. All right. Look at him. He's like, look at his face. He's like, fuck all of you. Tommy Pickles, number one. Uh, Thank you very it much. It was me, me, Tommy Pickles, all along. <laughs> then number two, Mickey Mouse. Hell yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. Wait, okay. Wait. What? Uh, well, uh, yeah. No, we, we can continue this on UPF. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We're wrapping up the Disney segment of the show. Uh, thanks for watching along with us. We, there's going to be a lot more happening these watch alongs next week, probably because of the direct and a couple other things. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, until then, have a good one. Take care of yourself and goodbye. I'm going to pee. <laughs> <laughs>